Hey everyone, welcome to Goody Reader. Today we have the new Pebble smartwatch to take a look at. This is pretty well one of the first smartwatches that have ever come out. It was mainly due to a massive Kickstarter campaign. You can see the box here. Uh, basically, it pairs via Bluetooth to your iPhone or to your Android phone. You could install games, you can install uh, apps and things like that, different watch faces. What I like about it is that anything that's in your notification center will appear on your watch. So Peter was sending me emails, mm -hmm. uh, he was sending me WhatsApp messages. That's what I'm surprised most at. We knew it took, we knew it could transmit SMS, like text messages and yeah. picture messages, but it actually did WhatsApp notifications, which is a third party app. So how it can go through all those channels is really cool. Yeah. So basically if you have say an iPhone, anything in your notification notification center mm -hmm. will pop up. Now by default, some apps you install will not have notifications enabled. Yes, yeah. um, and so you need to be able to make sure you go into the notification center and you make sure that you do like banner pop-ups or something like that. And then anything that you get will appear here. So if you use the Starbucks app mm. on your passport, yeah. you'll get your balance that will appear here. That's a big list of apps. I mean, there's everything here. LinkedIn, PayPal, TSN, like everything. Yeah. yeah. So if you use say eBay or PayPal a lot and someone bids on something that you have, you'll actually get a notification here. Now, one of the kind of cool things about this is once it's paired via Bluetooth is that you can actually initiate playlists. Mm. So I could turn on music on my iPhone by just hitting a button here. What's also really cool is if you have say like wireless speakers, like a Wi-Fi speakers or even Bluetooth speakers, you'll be able to hit play here hit play here and then go to your, yep. like, your Beats Pills mm -hmm. or whatever Wi-Fi speaker set that you have. As you can see, I mean, it's it's it's, it's a plastic build quality. It, it's not high and that's mm -hmm. why relatively what? It's like 80? Uh, it's anywhere from 80 to 150 bucks and I was gonna say, it's nothing compared to the one you got on your wrist right now. I forgot you're wearing Right, the, uh... so this is a Seiko uh, e-ink watch and I'll just take this off quickly. Now you can see that this is a high build quality, stainless steel, yeah. but the price difference is huge. This is Seiko, it's from Japan. That was an expensive uh, watch. It man. was about like four seventy five, yeah, five hundred dollars yeah. So this is the one thing that's holding back smartwatches in general is rubber design mm -hmm. it's it's made by silicon valley geeks basically for silicon valley geeks. you got to keep the cost down though because no one's gonna buy it if it's 500 dollars. you know no i agree yeah. but something has to be said for maybe a higher end watch uh -huh. that uh -huh. is you know maybe made by Dolce & Gabbana yeah. or some sort of partnership between like a major designer brand and a smartwatch company but since we're talking about pebble it's very basic you're not you know, when you think smartwatch, you're thinking Dick Tracy style. Doesn't have speakers, doesn't have a mic or anything on it. It, it basically will just give you notifications mm -hmm. and that's about it. And, and tell the time and set up uh, an and alarm clock. And play Snake. Yes. You can play Snake. <laughs> snake apps on it yeah. officially. So Classic. if you want to get a throwback to what, like 15 years oh, ago man, when it when, first came out. That's when those invincible brick phones, those Siemens and Nokias first came out. You got Snake on those. Yeah. I remember my original Blackberry phone had Snake yeah, on it. Yeah. And it seemed like almost every other Blackberry phone since then has had Snake yeah, on well, it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a good game. All right. So um, all in all, Pebble Smartwatch, I think it's cool. Uh, build quality. You know, you can mm. see for yourself, it's like rubber and Not plastic, but all in all, I think it does its job. It, it does vibrate. So when you are watching it or, or wearing it and you get like a WhatsApp or a Skype message or someone bids on something or, you know, someone sends you an email, you can actually get a little vibrating. Hey, you know, you can actually read what's happening on here. So you don't actually have to take the phone out of your pocket do the lock screen if you have a passcode you know it's easy to just be like oh you know meet here at this time okay yeah i would assume it's also good for driving because as you're driving your car and you get a text you know that you can only read that text you can't text back so you're not going to be distracted by holding your phone you'll just be like oh john said be there in five minutes so then it's passive you know. instead yeah, of active absolutely okay yeah. so this is the first look at the pebble smartwatch it's our seal of approval it's cheap Stamp. it's cheerful it's functional with android iPod, iPhone, yep. done via Bluetooth. For goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.
Happy New Year from everyone at GoodyReader.com. We have had a great year. There's been tons of devices. We hope we wrapped it up well with all the top five lists, um, the uh, top five apps, top five e-readers, top five tech gizmos of the year. We hope you guys like the studio expansion. We hope to do a lot more like this. And we just, we want to thank all of you guys, you and then you and you for watching all of our videos and kind of giving us the, the encouragement to do more and expand and uh, broaden what we do every day and, you know, keep on doing it for you guys because you like to obviously like what we're doing to some degree or else you wouldn't watch. So really appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a happy 2014.